Today, a very easy how to draw an Aussie crocodile. Check this out. Now, I've drawn crocodiles before. In particular, if you check out this video here, uh, there's a link in the description here. You can go there, you can sort of see how I've drawn a crocodile. That's probably a little bit more advanced. Today, I'm doing a more simplistic version of it. And sometimes I like the quick, simple, rough sketches better than I like a more complicated one. So I hope you guys do too. Get out your pens and paper and join in with me. Okay, for this drawing, you pretty much just need a pencil and a marker. And a piece of paper, of course. I'm going to start off our croc shape really simple. It's like a cartoon croc, isn't it? This is just a guideline. You got to start somewhere and just make changes to that, like pop a couple of eyes up there, back there with a few little spiky bits, only ear shapes. So that's just a start. Now we're going to make alterations. And these kind of little brackety shapes for the top there. So most of this is just going to be curves and letter V's, really. A little bit there. And do the inside of the mouth, the other side of the mouth. Coming up roughly about there. You can see how the croc shape is starting up, starting to get there. Here we're going to do sort of a big, funny, sort of like a cross hatch like this, because they have these big scales around near their neck. Eyes going to be roughly there. A little few little details there. So roughly where the ear is in there. A little lump there. For the nose, that's sort of what makes crocodiles different from gators, really. Bunch of letter V's for the teeth. Notice the different sizes. And a few coming up this way. Putting in the big ones, then the small ones around them. So they have the occasional big tooth, and they have little teeth around that. Now yeah, some sort of wrinkles around here. And probably shape the top of the snout there a bit. Work in where the lower jaw is going to be. With shadow there. And have some water splushing here because it's just so sort of dived out of the water onto the bank. Ready to grab ya. Work out a little slit for the eye there. Work out where the other eye is. Well, the back of the eye, I guess. Now I'm using a marker pen. As you can see, I'm using a 0.5. You wouldn't want to use anything thinner than this. And I'm just going in around those teeth. Marking them in. They're not terribly sharp. They're kind of, they're actually sort of bullet shaped things. More for smashing through bones, especially the big ones are good for smashing through bone. Smashing through almost anything, the powerful creatures. And all the other little teeth just help grab hold of things. So things can't escape. Gripping, holding, breaking. Yeah. Probably a good idea not to go swimming at the top end of Australia. Now watch what I do around the teeth here. It's like I stick a couple of brackets. Like that. On almost every tooth. It sort of represents so uh, like muscle scales holding those teeth in place. Kind of gnarly. You could probably use this technique if you wanted to draw any sort of monster. Because there's gnarly, scary looking things. Getting really nasty and scary just looking at the teeth, isn't it? Still, crocs have their place 
in the ecosystem. They are awesome animals. They're sometimes the most ferocious, scary creatures are also just the most awesome creatures. Now, back of the mouth here. A few more scales there. And this is so the croc can have a big gape. Kind of has that uh, also stretchy bit there. It's probably concealing muscles. Because they do have one of the most powerful bites on the planet. See, so I'm blacking in a bit there. And just putting some wrinkly bits here because they stretch right out when the mouth's wide open. Now, back there. So I'm not doing smooth lines, I'm sort of doing jittery sort of lines as if it's sort of a scaly, bumpy sort of creature. I'll put in here a little circle and behind that circle the eye slit. So the circle so sort of like a little bit of light shining on there. If you want to make a creature look a bit, a bit on the scary side, well you make the eye a little bit smaller because it means that the creature is bigger. Just think about a baby crocodile. It's got a really big eye. It kind of looks innocent. Sometimes the smaller the eye, the less innocent an animal looks and it can look a little bit more scary. Again, just to make them look more awesome. Now around here, you see those little brackets, sort of following those kind of wrinkly lines that I put down before, under the eye. Here I am putting in more scales. And of course, if I am going too fast in this, just pause the video, catch up. You can see above those brackets, I'm just putting a couple of dashes to make it look like more scales. If you wanted to draw a dragon or a, like a Jurassic or Triassic dinosaur, pre-feathers or something, you could probably use this technique. You probably adapt this technique for drawing all sorts of fantasy monsters. As I said before, we're mostly just using kind of brackets, little curved lines. Works a treat. And I'm drawing this fairly fast, a bit carefree. Work on that nose a little bit, a little bit of shade under there. And I'll do the back of that eye there. We have a triangle shape there. It's kind of going into where the ear is. And here you've got this bit here. That's probably where the ear is right there. Now above that, we've got this sort of funny, sort of triangular shape here, which is on both sides. And 
and see how I do some little dashes and dots just to add a bit of texture. A few more scales here and the shady bits. Which again I'm just using sort of curved lines really aren't I? Now this cross hatching here what I'm doing is I'm just drawing the scales within and I'm trying to make them not too smooth. I'm doing them actually really rough and this is the cool thing about drawing a crocodile. It doesn't really rely upon neatness, it relies more upon roughness. Make it sort of rough and gnarly and it's probably going to look more like a crocodile. Yeah. Few scales here. You see here I'm not putting in full scales, it's kind of like I'm sort of imagining where scales are and just doing a few dashes around the edges so as not to fill them in completely. And this gives you the impression of scales. So I think this is a fairly easy one to do. Let me know in the comments if you found this an easy draw or was it hard? And I would suspect that everybody who draws along with this, theirs would look different from mine. And that's a good thing, like a signature. So here I'm doing some of the splushy water just going up here. A few droplets of water flying around. Fill in a few more scales there. We're getting there. Bit of shadow under there. This is the, the side of the bank. More splashy bits here. Some action lines. More splashy bits. A few more splashy bits up here. Now a bit of shadow here to try and make those teeth at the front there stand out a little bit. You can see when I'm using a pen like this I just use a few lines to make up a shade. I get those lines a little bit closer together when I want it to be darker. You see around these teeth I'm making it quite a lot darker. Now a little bit of cross hatching to make it even darker still. A little bit of shade on the other side of the mouth there. bits of shade under the chin. You see how I'm doing again a little sort of squiggly lines or little dashes just to show a bit of shade there and little dots here and there. Now little dashes or little dots. Crocodiles have these. They have little dots especially around their mouth. Uh, I think there's something to do with like um, sensing stuff with their around the mouth which is highly sensitive.
I'm going to shade in a little bit there. And up on the upper lip here, same thing. Put those little sensitive dots in there. Now the next scales, I'm going to pop in some shading on all these neck scales here. Certainly on the bottom ones, they need a lot of shade. And again, you see I'm not being too careful with it. Sometimes a quick, fast sketch looks better than a careful one. However, you can, if you're following along and want to do a more careful picture, you could pause the video and take your time and make it a bit neater if you wish. But I'm pretty happy to make it pretty rough looking and it's always good to draw rough sometimes. Because it gives something a little bit more life and energy. Little bits of skull here, little bits of shade in those upper snout scales. A little circle, little dots. A bit of shade there. I'm not speeding up any of this. This is as fast as I'm actually drawing it. There's our crocodile. And that was how to draw a crocodile. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if it was useful, let me know. If it wasn't useful, let me know. I've got to try and improve these videos somehow. I'll catch you in the next video. Going over there now.